Elder Smith. Amen. Let's not, let's not sink back down. But we want to stay where the preacher left us at. Amen. So at this time, let us receive Elder Smith by saying thank the Lord for Elder Smith. Let the church say amen. amen. Truly tonight, we thank the Lord for you. Don't want you to uh, go too far. A message has come forth. But there's one message. There's one messenger. And I'd like for you to know tonight that his name is Jesus. Bible says there is therefore now honor has been given yes okay I give honor to all whom honor is due name by name and one by one we're blessed to be here tonight are you happy to be here was it worth the funds being depleted from your account uh, for you to sit here in these seats and hear such words from the Lord I ask that you excuse my tardiness but I made it uh, someone wrote a song don't be tardy for the party and so here I am you look good, look like you've been hearing some good word. I'd like to ask you a question tonight. Can you stand a little bit more? Uh, I believe in Jesus. He's the only one that can help us. And the Bible says there's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. You pray with me just for a while. I promise I won't. But it's so important to find out what does condemn mean. Uh, if you follow Webster's definition, you will find that it says to be sentenced, uh, to be put on trial, uh, to be set aside uh, where you're not useful anymore. Uh, a place that is condemned is a place where no one is supposed to live. Uh, but how many times have you seen an abandoned building yet you see someone dwelling there? Uh, they only live there because they don't have anywhere else. I don't hear nobody talking to me here tonight. Uh, the mansions up on the hill and and, and folks got nice houses over here and over there but I'm only here because I don't have anywhere to go I can read I know that the sign on the door said condemned you are gonna talk back to me here tonight I, I know that it says do not enter but it's the only mode of a habitat that I have so I take my chances rather than live homeless rather than live out on the streets huh? I take my chances and I know that the wood on the porch is shaking but I tip carefully and I know that there's not a doorknob on the door but I take a chance and put in my finger in the hole and open it and, and going in because I need somewhere to live So the truth of the matter is many of us are condemned. Came to the Bishop Council condemned. Sign on your head and in your heart on your back says danger. I don't hear nobody talking to me here tonight. 
sign in your disposition that says do not enter that's a sign in your life that says enter at your own risk so now the truth of the matter is many of us we are condemned you don't just become condemned overnight Condemnation takes a process. If a man is to be condemned and, and he has to serve some time in prison, there's a process that has to take place. The crime is committed. The jury is selected. He sits some time in the prison cell. All of these things are condemning this man until the day the judge hits the gavel and says guilty. You don't just wake up in the morning condemned. Something had to happen to you. A house. It's not just had a kazam and it's condemned. But there's a process. It, 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 it withstands the beaten rain. The roof starts to leak. It. The plumbing system. It gets malfunction. The electrical system starts to malfunction. But it doesn't get condemned overnight. I promise I'm not going to be here long. What I'm saying to you here, church, is if you're condemned, I know that it did not happen overnight. Can I tell the truth here tonight? Something happened to you to cause you to be condemned. You've been through some things to cause you to be condemned. Sure, you've been lied on. Sure, you've been sick. Sure, you've been down. Sure, there's been trouble in your life. And then you get here and the Bible says, there's therefore now no condemnation. And people dancing all over your head, shouting all on your feet, but you saying down in your heart, why in the hell am I still condemned? Perhaps I can help you. The Bible says the thief cometh not before to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Then he said, but I come that you might have life. And that you might have it more abundantly. What are you saying, preacher? It's all right to be condemned. It's not all right to stay. Come on here. Stay condemned. But you need someone that can look past your condemned state. You need, you need a master. A master builder. Lord have mercy here tonight. You need a master contractor. Someone that can walk up to the house and see that the roof is falling in. I ain't got nobody praying with me here tonight. Someone that can walk up and see all the windows are bust out of the house. Someone that can walk up and see the grass is taller than they are. But he can still look at that property and say, I can make something out of this condemned building. I don't think you hear me here tonight. I know someone. He looked out as he carried that cross up Golgotha's hill. He was looking out at condemned property. Can I get a witness here tonight? As he carried that old rugged cross, every step he took, he was looking out at condemned property. But thank God for Jesus, a master builder, a master mind. He saw something in you. He saw something in me. He said, even though there's a sign on your life, there's a sign on your heart, there's a sign on your head and the sign says condemn I got a vision 
And the Bible says, without a vision, the people shall perish. But thank God for Jesus. He saw something greater. So he went to the cross. Did you hear what I said? He went to the cross. He knew that we were condemned. He knew that we would be lost. And uh, you give me a few more minutes here. Someone wrote a song one time. Said what can wash away my sins? I wish I had a church here tonight. Nothing but the blood that can make me whole again. I said, I wish I had a church here tonight. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Ooh. Ooh. Precious is the flow. Anybody here want to? That makes me white as snow. No other found I know Nothing but the blood of Jesus What can wash away my sins Again Precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No, no other found I know. Nothing. And so Jesus walked up. Look at all these mansions. Uh, the Bible said in my father's house there are many mansions if it were not so I would have told you but a lot of us didn't come to this bishop council as mansions you can hold your tongue and your amens if you want to but if the truth be told a lot of us came as dilapidated buildings if you tell the truth a lot of us were abandoned but thank God for Jesus. One who knew what we needed. One who could take a broken heart and fix it all over again. One who could take a hateful man. One who could take a sinful creature and give him a new way of living. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad? Say yeah! Yeah! I'm going to preach here in a minute. Got to finish the scripture. So it says, there's now therefore, there's therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus have made me free from the law of sin and death. And believe me, you understand. Understand how you can be hurt right here in the church. Huh? One thing Bishop Darren always taught me to do is tell the truth. Even when it hurt you, he said, man, you need to tell the truth. And we say a lot of times, and it's true, we don't have no friends in the church. And that's true. But if you ever want to get hurt, Come to church. They get real quiet when you start talking. If you ever want your heart broke, come to church. But if you ever want your heart fixed, come to Jesus. If you ever want to be walked over, ever want to be trampled on, Come to church. If you ever want to be picked up, I 
ain't got nobody talking to me here today. If you ever want to be wiped down, if you ever wanted to be carried over, come to Jesus. There's no other help I know. He's the only one that's able to keep us from falling. No one to him. Oh, Jesus. If you ever want to be free, come to Jesus. If you ever want to be healed, come to Jesus. If you ever want to be brought out, come to Jesus. I guarantee you he will. Can I get a witness? I'm getting ready to go to my seat now. So I believe I'll climax and let you go home tonight. But if you ever want to be made whole, come to Jesus. If you ever want to be made free, come to Jesus. If you ever want healing for your body, come to Jesus. If you want your feelings hurt, come to a man. If you want to be deserted, come to a man but I've been hurt enough I've been ran down enough I've been condemned too long I've been in the storm too long but I uh, can I get a witness I want to say Lord I'm coming to thee I need your help yeah anybody need his help say yeah say yeah yeah, 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 I need you. Anybody here need him? Say, here I am, here I am, here I am. Savior, 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 don't pass me by. Here I am, yeah, yeah. Remember my brother, remember my sister, but one Lord, don't forget about me. I need you. Anybody need him? He's here right now. There's therefore now no condemnation. Come to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a few more minutes of your time? He will deliver. He will set free. He will. Can I get a witness? Anybody know he will? Say yeah. I know he will. I know he will. I know he will. I heard Mr. Rice preach a message one time. Say, Rabbi, come home with me. Yeah. Anybody want him to come home with you? Say, Rabbi, 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 come home with me. Say, yeah, yeah, Rabbi. Rabbi, 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 come home with me, come home with me, come home with me, come home with me. Come home with me. Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi. Don't let the devil fool you. Don't. I believe I got a few more minutes. Rabbi, Rabbi. I don't want to go back to Detroit like I came. Rabbi, come home with me. I don't want to go to Mississippi. I don't want to go to Atlanta. I don't want to go to South Carolina. I don't want to go to Winter Haven. 
I don't want to go back like I came. Rabbi, Rabbi, can I get a witness? Somebody that know you need him. Lift up your voice. Raise your hands. Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi. You don't want to live in a condemned house. You want him to live with you. To open up your heart. Did you come to this meeting for church? Did you come to be delivered? It don't take long to be delivered. Bishop Dern said the minute you believe it, the minute you can receive it, it is done. Rabbi! I wish I had a witness. I wish I had a witness. I wish I had a witness. 